हेलो माय नेम इज सोनाली चोपड़ा एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू अ न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ अराउंड द वर्ल्ड इन सेवन डेज क्वेश्चंस लाइक हाउ इंटरनल पॉलिटिक्स अफेक्ट्स इंटरनेशनल पॉलिटिक्स वेदर इट अफेक्ट्स इंटरनेशनल पॉलिटिक्स और नॉट इज वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट सब्जेक्ट्स ऑफ पॉलिटिकल साइंस Often such questions arise whether due to internal politics a country can make or break new relations with other countries or does any new head of state continue to follow the same path as before like many analysts believe that it has an impact but many reject it outright but in reality internal politics play a big role in foreign policy countries often resort to international relations to achieve complex domestic agendas like the khalistan movement getting a boost in canada in recent times it is the effect of canada's domestic politics we can now see india maldives relations in the same context as the policies stemming from domestic politics have spoiled india canada relations Recently Mohammad Muizu who is known for his anti India policies has won the presidential elections in Maldives In such a situation the question arises that what impact is this going to have on India Maldives relations Will India Maldives relations worsen due to this Is the change of power in Maldives a victory for China In today's discussion we will find answers to these questions so let's start the discussion In the recent elections held in Maldives, Mohammad Muizu has confirmed his claim for the post of president. Mohammad Muizu is the leader of the Progressive Party of Maldives coalition and is known for its close relations with China. Earlier this alliance had openly supported Chinese loans and investments. While till now the current president Ibrahim Mohammad Solih had been a supporter of India first policy. Mohammad Muizu's party is known for the India Out campaign. He has given statements not only during the election campaigns but also after winning the elections that he will remove the Indian army from the Maldives archipelago as early as possible. In such a situation India's concern is justified. However, it is not such a voice has been raised against India for the first time in Maldives but the India Out campaign was started for the first time there by former president of Maldives Abdullah Yameen Although relations between the two countries improved after that during Solih's tenure now once again there are speculations about deteriorating relations between the two countries Although Maldives is a sparsely populated island country it is strategically important for both India and China This is the reason why both the countries want to maintain their hold here. Maldives location in the Indian Ocean makes it important because Maldives acts like a toll gate located in the Indian Ocean. Two important sea routes of communication are located in the southern and northern parts of this island chain. It is important for maritime trade between the Gulf of Aden and the Strait of Hormuz in West Asia and the Strait of Malacca in Southeast Asia. The oil imported from Gulf countries passes from here. In such a situation, China is trying to rapidly increase its reach in Maldives by expanding its naval presence in the island nation. Maldives is also a partner of China's Belt and Road Initiative. China has played a role in financing and building various projects in the Maldives, including the development of ports, airports, bridges, and other critical infrastructure as part of the string of the pearls initiative in 2016 maldives gave one of its islands fadhiju finolhu to a chinese company on a 50 year lease for just 4 million dollars in 2017 maldives also signed a free trade agreement with china in such a situation the increasing chinese influence on maldives is a matter of concern for india Maldives is also important for India because while Maldives is only 700 kilometers away from Lakshadweep it is only 1200 kilometers away from the mainland of India Maldives also becomes important under India's neighborhood first policy and maritime security assistance India has had good relations with Maldives in the past also India has always supported Maldives in the times of need 
For example, in 1988, under Operation Cactus, the Indian Armed Forces foiled a coup attempt in Maldives. When the tsunami hit in 2004, India was the first to provide help to Maldives. In the year 2014, under Operation Neer, India supplied drinking water to Maldives to deal with the drinking water crisis. While during the COVID crisis, India helped Maldives under Operation Sanjeevni. At the same time, relations between the two countries are strong in the defense sector also. Defense exercises like Ek Purvadin Dosti Ekta Operation Shield take place between the two countries. At the same time, India also provides training to the National Defence Force of Maldives. India also has strong economic relations with Maldives. Over the past few years, India has offered loans and assistance worth more than two billion dollars to the Maldives. At the same time, India has emerged as the third largest trading partner of Maldives in 2021. India is also engaged in many projects construction there. For example, in August 2021, Fcons, an Indian company, signed a contract for the Greater Mail Connectivity Project, the largest infrastructure project to date in the Maldives. India and Maldives have also signed an agreement for the Ardu Reclamation and Coast Protection Project. The year 2022 also saw the inauguration of the National College for Policing and Law Enforcement in Maldives by the External Affairs Minister of India. which is the largest grant project implemented by India in Maldives. India has also signed a contract for adding a new terminal to the Hani Madhu International Airport development project under the line of credit. India has also issued credit lines to Maldives from time to time. But despite so much help from India, the reason for increasing Chinese influence in Maldives is the internal politics there. Maldives, whose mainstay of economy is tourism, is facing economic crisis since COVID. Debt in the country is increasing, and foreign exchange reserves are decreasing. Then again, Maldives is also facing the challenges of climate risk. Maldives is struggling with problems like unemployment and inflation. In such a situation, its dependence on Chinese investment has increased. Analysts believe that to divert voters' attention from domestic problems, Maldivian political parties are promoting nationalism by running India Out campaign. In such a situation, the internal politics of Maldives is affecting its international relations with India. But despite this, India's role in Maldives cannot be completely dismissed. India has always stood together with Maldives and amid the strengthening economic relations. between the two such speculations that maldives will try to move away from india are meaningless however india should not take this lightly and insist on continuing its tradition of promoting a multipolar and rules based world order in relation to its neighbors now it is the turn of the sunday special episode of this program in which we will talk about other important international news After its defeat in the recent voting for the UN Human Rights Council, Russia has failed in its attempt to return to it. In the secret ballot for the two seats allotted to Eastern European countries, Bulgaria got 160 votes, Albania got 123, while Russia stood third with 83 votes. In such a situation, Bulgaria and Albania got a 3-year term in the Human Rights Council starting from January 1, and Russia remained out. Let us tell you that Russia was suspended from the Human Rights Council in April 2022 for attacking Ukraine. After this recent voting for the Human Rights Council, the council now includes Albania, Brazil, Bulgaria, Burundi, China, Ivory Coast, Cuba, Dominican Republic, France, Ghana, Indonesia, Japan, Kuwait, Malawi, and Netherlands for a 3-year term from 2024. Recently the heads of security services of Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan signed an agreement in Bartkain, Kyrgyzstan. Regarding this agreement, Kyrgyzstan says that through this agreement both the countries have agreed to solve the problem of the disputed border. Let us tell you that the two nations which arose with the disintegration of the Soviet Union have been embroiled in a border dispute since the latter half of 1991. In such a situation after this agreement there seems to be an end to the violent clashes that have been going on between the two countries for years. 
After the military coup in Niger accepting the demand of the Niger army, France has started withdrawing its troops from there. Recently, after assuming power on July 26, Niger's military ruler generals demanded the withdrawal of French troops, which was confirmed by French President Emmanuel Macron. France had about 1,500 troops in Niger, the center of France's counter-terrorism operation in the Sahel. In such a situation, France's exit from here is being considered a big defeat for it. Because while French soldiers have been shown the way out of Niger, Italian, German and American soldiers are still in Niger. So that's all in today's episode. See you in the next episode. But before that, let's note down a question based on today's story. Recent changes in the political power in the Maldives will impact the India-Maldives relations. Comment.